excited. Welcome back, by the way. Uh, oh, thank you. Hey, I, I came back on a very important a very, day. Very, very newsworthy day. That's the, right. The countdown to the Great American Eclipse is on. We are now just under eight hours away from the eclipse here in Charlotte, all set to peak at 311 this afternoon here. Anytime we in the TV business have a countdown clock. That's you know when, it's important. That's when you know it's important. Uh, the path of totality stretches from Texas all the way up to Maine with clear skies in the forecast. You may be able to see a little something here in the Carolinas as well. Yeah, so let's send it out to meteorologist Chris Mulcahy at the Shield Museum in Gastonia this morning. A lot going on today, Chris. We've been having a blast here so far. By the way, I, you can't see it. Well, I can't see it either because I'm wearing these glasses. There's a hurricane simulator over there, so I'm super pumped to try that out. But the main event here, of course, we're going to see the partial eclipse. So as you mentioned, it's peaking between that uh, 311 to 312 time frame. But here at the Shield Museum, there's a very special event that's happening. That's going to be from noon to 4. So I'm here with Tiffany Stewart. We've been having a blast all morning. Yeah. How can we continue this fun later today? Well, if you join us from 12 to 4, up on the green roof that's included with your museum admission. You'll get hands-on activities, you'll get Eclipse-inspired arts and crafts for the kids, uh, space trivia will be played for prizes, Ooh. and uh, even some ice cream samples as long as they last. You didn't tell me about the ice cream! No, I was trying to keep it on the down low. Yeah, I know, I was going to buy all those tickets. So ice cream on the roof, and then you also said, because we're only seeing the partial eclipse here, you're going to have an insight via NASA for the big event. That's right. We'll be streaming the NASA live stream and we'll have our uh, planetarium presenters kind of doing some commentary from an expert point of view to let people know what's going on. And if we do get some cloud cover, we'll still have that kind of backup view. Yeah, no, you got a backup. Also, you can roam the museum afterwards or during or in between. So say if it gets cloudy and you're just waiting it out, you can go to the planetarium such behind me. But what else do you have to offer here at the Shield Museum? Oh gosh, we've got the farm with all the live animals. We've got dino safari. You can wander through and check out all the dinosaurs. And then uh, all kinds of different live animals, animal wildlife displays, just something for everyone. Okay, so uh, you were telling me these glasses are going so fast. People have been buying them in advance. Didn't you have, how many do you think you had how many do you think you have oh left? My gosh, these were these are a hot ticket right now. We had thousands of glasses, and now we're down to one little level on our box. I don't know, probably oh no. a couple hundred pair left. So. Get them while you can. Okay, so they're $3. It's $6 for kids, $7 for adults, and you can't see anything, right? No. Okay, that's the key. If you have these glasses, I'm looking up at the lights. I think the camera's right here. That's how you know that they're working. And I already promised Ben, Sarah, bringing them back for you. Larry, I know you have a pair of glasses. Tiffany, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm also going to be your weatherman, your science guy. Let's talk about, a little bit about exactly what's happening here. So the reason why you even have a total eclipse is because they gave me this super cool model here is the moon is directly between the earth and the sun so once you have this lineup you technically have a new moon where we wouldn't be seeing anything but that's why we're seeing this big event it's actually casting a shadow right on the earth and when that happens there's two parts there's the umbra it's a little pinpoint that creates the path of totality the further you get away from that that's the penumbra that is the dimmer part of the shadow and that's why we only have a partial eclipse here so it doesn't always line up this way but a solar eclipse actually happens every 18 months roughly across planet earth it's just about where it lines up. So take advantage of this. We're not going to have another totality here in the United States like this until 2045. That's on August 12th. And we're also not going to have a partial eclipse like this here in the Charlotte area until that same time frame. So a super cool event that you're going to be able to see 80.2% of the sun covered up. I'm super jazzed. How about you guys? I'll have your glasses back in about an hour or so. Uh, my kids will be uh, very grateful yeah. considering I did not plan ahead. But one thing I found uh, interesting Chris had been saying all week that if you have glasses from when we had the mm -hmm. solar eclipse here, oh, yeah. you, you can still use yeah. them. You can still use yeah. them as long as they're not scratched. You just check by making sure when you look yeah. through that you can't see anything. And, and the good thing is you look very cool with them on. Uh -uh. Very cool. <laughs> Me and Larry must be chopped liver. We, we don't get any glasses. <laughs> well, I had, like I said, I had glasses for everybody, and I had them. I mean, I put them out and said, so put them in a special spot on the table, walked right by them this morning. <laughs> next, time. Next, <laughs> time, next time. Next time, Larry. Next, next time. time. Yes. In 20, 20 years. Yes. I expect you to bring those. If, I don't, if I don't put things in my car in this yeah. ship, I forget it. I'll leave it on the counter too, Larry. By the way, you should say, Joy was mentioning uh, in the comments that 
it's going to be cloudy where she is. Mm -hmm. So she's hope she's she's able to she's in Wisconsin, I think. Yeah. 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 So, uh, John but, Kelly saying schools in Greenville are letting out early, um, oh. so children can watch Greenville, the eclipse. Greenville, north or south? I'm thinking yeah. John Kelly is in south. Okay. All right. I think I could be I was wrong. To say, John, if you want to clarify for us, he's <laughs> talked. Um, he's talked a lot about Charleston and the beach yeah. and stuff. Okay. So, um, okay, okay. Anyway, uh, I want to watch the expression of people's face when they're looking up. I mean, you look at these <laughs> this picture right here, and you can see the, you know, mouth <laughs> wide open, you know, just staring. But that's exactly the way everybody should be today yeah. for the eclipse this afternoon. Now, I'm going to. This is specific areas we're talking about here. This is, you know, Texas. Oh man, there's so many people that are in South Texas. So much cloudiness down there. It's really a lot of cloudiness, even some storms. Oh. Northeast Texas is better. Notice from Houston all the way up to the south of Dallas. It's all cloudy skies there. Now from Cleveland all the way to Buffalo into Vermont. Uh, Cleveland has some clouds and some showers this morning. They may get some sun this afternoon. Buffalo thinks it's going to be cloudy. Uh, uh, up towards Vermont, uh, that area is going to be okay. And then for, what about the Carolinas and the southeast? All fair weather clouds here. In fact, we'll show you exactly what's going to happen. Partial eclipse begins right here at 154 this afternoon. Maximum eclipse is, and that's 80% of the sun covered, and that's around 311 this afternoon. Still, you can see scattered clouds at that time. Then the partial eclipse uh, ends. Right around 426, still, we'll say partly sunny at that time. But the temperatures outside is going to be really pleasant. It's going to be, yeah. it's going to be in the mid-70s with winds about 5 to 10 miles per hour. So put your glasses on and join us. Well, I mean, hopefully we'll find some glasses by that time. It's well, awesome. you evidently have a bunch at yeah. home that you need to just start uh, passing on the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah knock right. on people's That's doors. Right. You Lots need glasses. glasses. <laughs> yeah. 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 Also notable, notable today, because for the first time in history, Cleveland, Ohio has better weather than the rest of the country, wow. which never happens. Yeah. Yeah. I I mean, they, they, I say that as a, they don't at the, at the moment, but yeah. by the afternoon. By afternoon. Yeah. Good, yeah. good for them. Mm. Good for them. Yeah. All right, folks, chime in. Let us know. Are you going to be watching? If so, make sure you have your nifty glasses. <laughs> and we'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Bye.